Alright guys, so today we're doing a video called Underground Rappers to Look Out For in 2024 and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I did another video called Underground Rappers Who Are Leaving Behind and uh, there are quite a lot of them and you know that only opens up space for like new talent and stuff and in this video I'm just I'm just freestyling it I'm not gonna lie I'm not doing any research nothing so it's literally just people who you know I've been listening to and I have like a lot of faith in and I might actually miss some people because um I'm literally just like whatever pops in my head and I'm not gonna say the obvious ones like you know okay I'll say a couple obvious ones like you know I'm just not gonna say the super obvious ones like Xavier so based okay you know he's gonna have a great 2024 right like pretty obvious but you know there are some people that are kind of up but they're not like super named you know what I mean and uh, the first one I want to talk about is this guy named Kinlery. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's like this plug and B artist. Uh, he actually has a couple songs out and even a music video with Xavier So Based. And uh, the reason why I think you should watch out for him is he's probably like one of the only artists out right now that are him and there are some other people like Jovan. And they're, I don't know. They're, there's like a there's like a group of them. And he's one of the only artists that are like doing something new in plug and B. I feel like the only people are not the only people. There's like a handful of people that really did something with Plug and B, like, you know, um, Summers, Autumn, Can Can, Corey Lingo, of course, all those people and all the producers that helped them too, and then maybe like Lil Shine, but other than that, you know, I, may, I might be missing a couple names, but it's mostly just all the same regurgitated, completely copy base paste, oh, take a Summers preset, take his flow, take a Summers type beat. It's it's really recycled, but Kinlery and, uh, yeah, mostly Kinlery, he has like his own flow, he's got his own mixing, and his... His stuff kind of reminds me of like 2018, 2019 summer, or 2018 summers, like 2019, that, that plug and B sound. But he has his own, um, the way he mixes his music is really unique. And uh, the beats, they do kind of remind you of that, but they're just crazier because obviously like that whole sound is developed. Like they're, they're, they're pretty hard. And um, what really separates Kinlery from like every other plug and B artist is the mixing and his flow. Like he has, he has like the craziest flow ever. It's so fast, but it's not off beat. And it's like also melodic at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. Just look him up on SoundCloud, K-Y-N-L-A-R-Y. And you'll find a SoundCloud and just listen to some of his music. Trust me, he's really good. You might not like it if you're not into plug and B or um, you're just not on that, that type of music, but trust me, he's really good. And the other thing about him is he's really consistent and he's like really pushing his music a lot. You know, if you look at his page, he's constantly posting. You go on Twitter, you know, people are posting him. He has like, I wouldn't say a fan base yet. He has like a very like, he has, uh, I mean, he has a fan base, but he's got like a, there's a group of fans, like underground fans that are into what he's doing that are like, that are messing with him. And I think he really, if he just has a couple songs, like just one song is all it would take. Because whenever there's an artist that has a super, super, super unique and hard style, like like Kinlery, and they have one big song, I feel like their entire discography just gets picked up. You know what I mean? And I feel like that could really happen with him, especially with his consistency and how different he is, you know? And it's not just that he's different, it's that he's really good. But that's just an artist that I've been listening to a lot. I really like his music. So I think he's going to have a good 2024. The next artist is uh, some guy that a lot of people don't like. His name is Fresh Boy Swag. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I heard this dude's music, it was like six months ago, or maybe a little longer. It might have been a little longer. Forget, it was the summer. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, it might have been a little longer, but his, I thought his, I thought his stuff was trash. I thought it was so, so, so bad. I forgot who sent me it. It was one of my friends, or this guy or something, but I just thought it was trash. I was like, why are you sending me this dude? And then I um, saw him a little later, and I heard this one song. I forgot what the song was named, but I, I, I started to see the vision, you know what I mean? Like, at first, the crazy, like, he has a really thick British accent. I, I don't know if he's British or what, he's from the UK for sure, but he has, like, a really thick accent, this really thick English accent, and he, he hops on, like, these beats that are uh, pretty unique and stuff. And he just has like this, uh, I don't know how to explain it, like this peculiar flow, you know what I mean? But once you start listening to him and once it grows on you, it's like, oh, this is really hard. It's kind of like, kind of like old Drain Gang. Not like, he's not like old Drain Gang a lot, but I mean, the way that it kind of grows on you and you might not like super mess with it at first, but afterwards you'll be like, all right, this is hard, this is hard. Like, I see what this guy's doing. And that's exactly what Fresh Boy Swag is. He's really hard. He's also part of 1C, that's Xavier So Bass group. Uh, he works with a lot of producers that, you know, you, those other rappers that he's affiliated work with. He's cool. He's, uh, he drives pretty consistently. Another thing about this dude is he has like the most off filter fashion sense ever. Like, I don't know. He wears like exclusively cheetah print pants, but like, it's not like cheetah print, like the normal color cheetah print. It'll be like 
purple and pink and green and like lime blue or that's not even a color but like uh neon blue, or like I don't, not neon but like and then he'll wear like really tight pants and then he'll wear like i don't know just look up fresh boy swag with a p like p h r e s h boy swag he's hard i don't know why i keep spelling out these guys names but you know fresh boy swag is another artist that you know you might start noticing a common theme here is different and his music actually sounds good so i recommend you go check him out check out whichever song you like pop out his youtube maybe he has some cool music videos he's hard the next artist that i think is gonna have a smashing 2024 and i'm gonna keep it short because i said i wouldn't do too many obvious ones is netspend netspend had a great 2023 that's when he came up right i think he came up around june <sighs> it's not like so he's had like six seven months you know to to really go uh six seven eight months to really go like crazy this year and he really came up he went from like practically no one knowing to knowing him to like some people knowing him to be like hey who is that guy to like now everyone knows that spend maybe not because they like him maybe because they hate him but they know him you know what i mean that's all that matters and uh, the thing about him is he went just went on this like crazy run of singles like he was just dropping a single it would go crazy it would get like 10 20 30 50k in a day it was insane and he's just been on this run of singles and i think in 2024 he's finally gonna drop some sort of project maybe like an ep he's actually he's had he had some projects he had like some eps in in 2023 he had a, he had quite a few he deleted them like most of the songs on them but he had some i remember he posted some but um i think he's gonna post like a real 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 project that he's been working on and stuff in um in 2024 and um i don't know i guess that'll like solidify if he can like it, i don't i don't want to say it solidify him because he's already like shown he can make good music and stuff but dropping a good project is like you know if you drop a bunch of good singles yeah people are gonna remember them like especially if, a, if you have like a big single for example like people are gonna remember drink 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 for, for a long time but if you can drop like a a good underground classic tape like doo-wop kane did with like underdog or something you know people are gonna remember that a lot more you know what i mean so i think the only thing he's got to do is just drop a good project and i think he just continues what he's doing he'll have a great 2024 the next artist that i think is gonna have a great 2024 is oh santa um he's like kind of friends with um osama sorry not kind of friends he's good friends with osama son i'm pretty sure they have a tape and uh, i've been listening to a lot of his music I actually listened to his music a lot like a year and a half ago like back when no no wait uh, that the the time is messing me up but i used to listen to ok mar quite a bit not quite a bit like i used to listen to him and that's where i kind of discovered all those guys and oh santa oh santa was one of the people i discovered at some point through him and uh this guy uh i wouldn't say he's like he has like osama sun potential because osama sun has potential to like kind of go mainstream i'm not gonna lie like mainstream to the point where like ken carson destroy lonely or mainstream now but i think he has a lot of potential and uh he's still kind of unknown like a lot like if you're if you're kind of tapped in you know who he is but he's not like you say hey oh santa you know people there's a, there's not a good chance there's a chance people don't know who you're talking about i like his music i think you should go check him out and um i just realized there are like five or six artists i could name but i'd have to make a part two or something and i don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long so i'm gonna give you one last name of an artist who i actually really believe in and dropped one of my favorite projects of last year and uh that's an artist that goes by the name of 1am 1am the thing i really like about him is he has like this specific sound it's like i don't know how to explain it you gotta just listen to it he has like this um he has like that underground trap sound but the way he mixes his vocals with autotune and the, just the sound it has is just like his main producer is this guy named tdf and the sound and chemistry they have is like amazing he just dropped this album house party and i'm not gonna lie it's it's a very it's a very 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 listenable listenable album he also has like singles that just hit like he dropped a single film really like that one this other one function i was playing that snippet before it dropped like crazy like he just makes really catchy music and uh he makes the type of music that's like underground but like i could see it going up you know what i mean like i could see it getting more than what it has right now you know you know what i mean like he makes good music um there's some more artists that i think are gonna have some pretty decent 2024s those are just a couple kind of obvious ones to me that are just coming to my head and uh, i just wanted to make a video you know not like just hating on anyone just you know giving people their flowers and stuff you know just artists that are doing good you know dxo is another one by the way he's really hard but uh i actually saved the most um the artist that's gonna have the biggest 24 2024 for the end of the video he's like this super low-key kind of like bubbling in the underground scene right now it's like if you know him you're really tapped in his name is young Fazo. I've been checking out some of his music. 
this stuff is hitting recently man like he's got the song called adding i think it's got potential to go really big on tiktok he's got he's got a lot of talent I'm not gonna lie like he might really like make do some damage this year so anyways that's my like artists who i think are gonna be in for 2024 and are just gonna go up especially that Fazo kid that young Fazo kid or young Fazo. anyways that's it for this video thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, see you next time bye